Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is aqueous versus solid. All right, so let's quickly go over our three states of matter. So with gas, all of our molecules are spread out completely. They're not connected to each other. And so for this example, we're going to be using water molecules. This is aqueous water, steam. And in liquid, they're connected to each other, but they can move around and they're not stuck. They can kind of act however they want to and they'll form the shape of the container. And solid is everything is lined up nicely in a grid. So like an ice cube. And it won't form the shape of the container. So now that we have our three states of matter, let's go over aqueous. So first of all, it has to be liquid water. So we know we're going to have something that's filling the shape of the container, but that is also moving around. It's not static, there's no grid. And aqueous refers to a solution. And a solution is something that is not pure. So we're going to have to add another type of molecule. Let's go ahead and add X's, which will represent sodium chloride or table salt. So if we put sodium chloride in here, when we add it, it'll be a solid, so in a nice little grid like this. But once it gets in here, it's going to dissolve and it's going to disperse throughout the water, forming a solution. And so what this means is that the solid or whatever we dissolved is completely dissolved. It's spread around, um, but it's not pure anymore, so we can't just call it a liquid. We have to call it a solution. And aqueous is a special word for what happens when we make a solution where liquid water is the solvent. So uh, one more thing, it doesn't have to just be a solid. We could add a gas and add that to the water, and as long as it dissolves, we'll still have an aqueous solution. So for instance, carbon dioxide, when it's dissolved in water, uh, that forms soda or carbonated water. Um, so basically, to make an aqueous solution, we have to have liquid water, some other particle that will dissolve, and we have to mix it enough that it completely dissociates and forms a solution. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Aqueous versus Solid. Mm -hmm.